Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, today we are obviously looking at the Wayne Dalton Pro Drive again, but this is actually not the focus of today's video. So, the other day, uh, I got a new opener, and I uh, needed some work when I got it, so I've been working on that for a little while. So, if we come over and look at the shelf, obviously, Genie buttons set up, and Genie sensors are set up. So, what opener did I get? Yeah, so I got a Genie Pro screwdriver. Uh, I've been wanting one of these for quite a long time, uh, especially ones with the older style case, the one that's not as uh, as rounded. So yeah, uh, this is the exact Genie screwdriver that I wanted, so I'm very glad to have it. Um, so yeah, I got the Genie button set up. This came with a, a push button, kind of the same as what's on the G5000, but I went ahead and set up this uh, Genie button right here. Genie sensors. Um, so yeah, this one was made 11th week of 2001. And um, when I got it, the uh, the motor on this thing was completely locked up. So I don't know what was going on with it. Uh, I tried to run it and it kind of sounded like the capacitor was dead, but uh, opened up the case and the RPM wheel was completely locked. So um, had to get the motor out. Uh, thanks to the Brazilian Hot Dog 724 for kind of helping me out a little bit with this but yeah so over here I have my parts IS 550 uh the reason I have this thing out is because well I needed to get the bearings from uh from this to put in the pro because the bearings on this were kind of shot so um yeah the weird thing is though is that after swapping the bearings between the two motors um this is working fine but this is also working fine. So I really have no idea what was going on. But, um, you know, all I care about is that the Pro is working now. So the motor doesn't sound great. Uh, it's making a little bit of a clunking noise. I'm not sure what that is. But it does work. So let's go ahead and run it. We'll move my impact drill out of the way. I finally got one. Got an impact drill there. Uh, so this right here. Move this wrench. And we'll run it with the genie button. Here we go. It's very quiet. Um, this thing is extremely quiet. Uh, there is a little bit of noise coming from this bolt. Uh, it won't tighten anymore, so it's kind of loose. Um, so yeah, that noise is just the bolt vibrating. Uh, I'll give this another run down. So yeah, uh, this thing is very quiet, um, one third horsepower, model CM7600IC slash A, so yeah, uh, there is the four screws, I had to put a, a different screw here, uh, it's a little bit bigger, the terminal was stripped, so um, yeah, that's what we have there, but it does work, sensors are lit up obviously. So yeah, uh, here's my tombstone, I have this working, uh, the middle button is still program to that genie over there. Uh, I programmed this button right here to this genie pro. So let's give this another run. There's the shaft in there. So yeah, I got a, quite a bit of grease on it, but yeah, um, very glad that this thing is working. There's another shot of the case. So yeah, I uh, don't have the light lens for this, unfortunately. Uh, I'm going to try to get one at some point. But uh, yeah, we'll give this a sensor check here. Um, sensors obviously work. So yeah, uh, this one also does have the weird thing with the light. Uh, if you close it and turn the light off, light shuts off while it's running. And then when you stop it, it turns back on. So yeah, um, there you go. That's my new... Genie Pro screwdriver. Uh, I'll give you a quick run of the Pro drive here. Uh, I do have a release cord on it now. Uh, I use this very thin rope because that um, hole up there is very tiny. I actually had to put some tape in here so that it wouldn't uh, pull out of the um, thing there. So let's go ahead and give this a run. <laughs> Uh, 
And this, uh, this thing is vibrating still for some reason. So, yeah. So, yeah, release rope. Um, I'm going to stop this thing halfway so I can show you how weird this trolley is. So, do that. Comes back. Stop it. So, this trolley is very weird. Uh, when you pull this down, that comes out. There's the inner slide. Uh, this inner slide is actually heavy enough that it kind of weighs the belt down. So, yeah. Um, this thing has no auto disconnect. Um, so, it won't, like, stay in this position right here. So, you have to keep it, uh, you know, like that. But um, if we slide this through from uh, from above the inner slide right here, it connects into the outer trolley, or the inner trolley, I mean. Now, if we disconnect this and bring it from behind there, if we try to connect this up, it just slides right through. So, very weird trolley system. I don't know why it's like this. Um, we can uh, do this here. Okay, so that time it reconnected. Now, let's see here. Now, let's see here. Okay, so if we move it above this trolley. Oh, uh, wait, hold up. I think I see the problem here. Or, well, I don't know. Hey, anyway, it's just very weird. Um, also, I do have a remote on the way for this. Um, I got a remote for this, so that'll be showing up here soon. Run this down. So yeah, uh, still liking this opener quite a bit. Uh, I do like the Genie Pro more though. Uh, we're gonna give this one more run and then that'll be it. Here we go. All right, uh, we'll go from this side, and then that'll be it. Sorry about the, uh, the light bulbs kind of casting a bit of a shadow. Do have to stop it manually because I uh, don't have limits hooked up. So yeah, uh, there you go. It's a Genie Pro screwdriver. I do have the one-piece rail for this, and um, I was originally not going to keep it, but I think I actually will and um, probably dispose of the three-piece rail that came with this parts um, 550. So, yeah. Um, other than that, not really too much else to say. Pretty soon here, uh, I'm going to swap these two openers, put this on the rail, and put this on the bench. So, um, yeah, and also I need to make a review of this. I'll do that when my remote comes in. So, yeah, that is my new Genie Pro screwdriver. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.